so unbelievable. I'm unbelievable. I'm unbelievable? How am I unbelievable? I'd love to hear how I'm the problem in this situation. You're choking the one person who gives a shit about your sorry ass. I'm sorry, you care? If anything, you've been a burden to me. You're nothing but excess baggage that I've been forced to carry around for most of my life. You really want to go there? You really want to take it there, huh? You know what? Yeah, might as well since we're on the topic. Well, I've been with your sorry ass since day one. Your successes would be nothing without me. I am the only thing that is standing between you and a psychiatric ward. I have been there for you when you've been sad and pushed you when you've needed to be pushed. Push me? You would call me horrible things, like a worthless piece of shit. That I'm nothing in life. That I'm a burden to everyone I know. That's because it's true. You whine and complain for the littlest things that are fucking first world problems in comparison to what other people are going through. You know what? You're a grown up crybaby because you cry because your dad didn't give you the love that you thought you needed who picked on you for your own stupidity and preferred the two smarter, older sisters than you, you dumbass! And your mother, who sees you in the same way as your father, only she's drugged up all the time. You think you could seek your love and refuge in her, but at the end of the day, she cares about her drugs more than you. Think about that, more than you. You're nothing to her. You'll never have a girlfriend. What is a girlfriend? If anything, it's to have gratification or social status. I know this. I know this from when you post those stupid things on social media that makes you think you look cool. When in fact, you're just trying to find some gratification that you never had in your father. That's for the world out there. It's the cruelty of your parents jacked up on steroids. No one will care about you, man. What, you don't have friends. What, what are friends? You can always find a flaw in their logic that describes your friendship. It won't make sense. It never makes sense. Sadness and misery would be your only friend. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! I know I'm fucked up, okay? I know I've I've made mistakes, but I'm I'm trying, man. Okay? I'm fucking trying! <laughs> you are not my friend! You've never helped me in any way when things got bad! Only made things toxic! I'm surprised that I get through the day with so much negative shit that you put in my head! You make me believe that I am a disgrace to God! My religion! That selfishly if I don't keep apologizing to him, my insurance policy to get up there will not be covered. You've convinced me so many times that no one will miss me when I'm gone. That, that it's okay to go without even saying goodbye.
place. You know, both those times, I wasn't certain whether if I was gonna, you know, live or die. Yeah? I feel like drowning would be too violent of a way for me to go, and shooting myself would be unlikely because I don't own a gun. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see how that scenario would play out. No? I mean, even though we have a bunch of airsoft <laughs> guns, don't know? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know how the rest of your life plays out. I'd be lying if I said it gets better. be a miracle if you got out of this thing in one piece. And the truth is, no one's going to care that you're gone. It'll just be one last selfish wish on your part that you want to fulfill before you go. Whether you love me or hate me, I'm going to always be there for you. Always keeping you sane and keeping you in check.